Hello viewers, we'll be going over natural gas. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis. Natural gas is currently down 1.6% on the one-hour chart. We are starting to approach to positive MACD, and if we extend that further on the four-hour chart, we start to see a slight convergence on the four-hour MACD However, we're still in negative. And if we extend that further on the daily chart, we are starting, we may see higher lows momentarily. However, if we do manage to revert back and hit the levels around a price of $1.64, so we'll mark that as our first immediate support. That was made back last week or May 14th. And if we were to move down lower to hit that support level, that price movement to the downside is roughly around 3.5%. So as for resistance, if we do manage to reverse higher, at the moment, the daily MACD, we are now approaching to negative MACD. And there is no signs of convergence, but do keep in mind that there is a possibility that we may do reverse and head up higher. And I do see a possible resistance around the 100 day moving average, this orange line. And also, that also coincides with previous resistance that dated back to last week or May 19th at around a price of $1.83. That also coincides with the 18 day moving average, this purple line. So if we do manage to move up higher, that price movement to resistance level is roughly around 7.7% to the upside. So let's now examine the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as we progress to the seventh day on the day-by-day -day probability model, we have a 58% chance for natural gas to climb higher between 0 to 6.5%. On the extreme case, we have a 17% chance for natural gas to, to climb higher between 6.5% to 13%. On the other hand, to the downside, we have a 17% chance for natural gas to fall between 0 to negative 6.5%. And on the extreme case, to the downside, we have an 8% chance for natural gas to fall between negative 6.5% to negative 13% to the downside. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So what we have here is one day out, that will be a Tuesday, and two days out will be a Wednesday, so, and so on. So three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. So on the line graph, we have our current trend as a blue line, and overlapping it, the orange line is, is found to be the best match to the current trend, and that trend dates back to July 18, 2017 to October 9, 2017. And up here we have our current trend, so let's compare both trends. So starting with the current trend, we start off at the bottom of Bollinger Band, we revert higher, touch the upper Bollinger Band, touch the bottom of Bollinger Band once more, and then all three instances we touch higher highs on the upper Bollinger Band and then we revert back to the mean to the middle Bollinger Band. So now let's compare the trend in question. We start off at the bottom Bollinger Band, reverse higher, touch the upper Bollinger Band, and then once more touch the bottom Bollinger Band, and we climb higher highs uh, touching the upper Bollinger Band, and we revert back to the mean towards the very end. So one thing to note on this upper Bollinger Band, we did not, on the trend in question, we did not touch the upper Bollinger Band, compare that to the current trend, so do keep that in mind. So what we have here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. We also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was July 18th to October 9th, 2017. Back then, natural gas was only up roughly around 57 basis points, so slightly to the upside. And if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with this standard deviation. 58% uh, chance for natural gas to, to climb higher between 0 to 6.5% in the next coming days. So now let's examine closer on the technical performance of each model. So if we extend out and examine the trend that we're in right now, 
We're currently down 15% from monthly high, up 16% from monthly low, up 6% from Tensibu moving average, up one four or up 1.5% from 20 simple moving average and up 5.6% from 50 simple moving average. And now let's examine the trend that we just examined, which was July 18 to October 9, 2017. So back then, natural gas was down 11% 11, 11 from monthly high, up 2% from monthly low, up down 3% from 10 simple moving average, and down 5% from 10, 20 simple moving average, down 4% from 50 simple moving average. So among the, there are technical differences among the two trends. And the trend in question, it was below the 10 simple moving average, down 20 simple moving average, as well as 50 simple moving average. It was in the negative aspect. Compare that to the current trend that we're in right now is positive and we're much higher from monthly low compared to that to the trend back in 2017. It was only up 2% compared to that to the trend we're in 16%. So there are technical differences among two trends, mainly with the 10, 20, and 50 simple moving averages. It was in the negative compared to that to positive in the current trend. So do keep that in mind. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.